Hello and welcome my friends to a different type of reaction. Today we're taking a look at Genji vs Hangwa Lives. Uh, yeah, best of five series and uh, well, we can expect probably the best League of Legends from the LCK right here, right now. Because yeah, you know how it goes about T1. We're struggling a bit. Doesn't mean that in the end we will be the champions, but that's not the topic for today. Today we're going to take a look at what these other top teams can bring to the table. And uh, yeah, the question is also the loser of this is going to be probably our next opponent, right? We're going to beat DK and then afterwards, uh, yeah, our next opponent is going to be either Genji or Hangwa Life. Um, that's just how the format works. And with that out of the way, let's see. We're getting a bit of a gank here, but uh, yeah, shouldn't be anything too concerning. Overall, the main interesting point here is obviously Keen playing the Ur God out of all champions. But um, yeah, I've heard some rumors about it um, like actually being like decently good right now. I mean, again, a champion like Rek'Sai has very little ways, I guess, to deal with him. But uh, well, Ur God uh, just has always the same problems, and looks like we're about to see it now. Yeah, Zeka is just going to run at him and. Like, Urgot has no mobility right here. In this case, he elected Flash, which um, honestly, I think it makes some sense, right? But mm, I've seen also people uh, like try Ghost. Uh, personally, I've not thought about uh, the differences in this case too much. So, yeah, I need to educate myself more on that. But regardless, uh, yeah, that's at least an interesting adaptation coming in here from Keen. Overall, uh, yeah, positive to see top lane meta. Uh, like experience some change here for once okay bit of a split fight here let's hope that Zeri doesn't end up getting all the kills I uh, in with the TP here but uh, yeah I mean I don't know that uh, yeah that's just a bit iffy here at this point just pressing like you don't even need to press tab right you need to just look at the champions in the game and it's like you are not winning an early game fight here really Genji are you Regardless, with that now, the gold is decently even though, but uh, yeah, with Keen probably dying here as well. I mean, he's dealing some damage, but Rek'Sai, I mean, she can uh, yeah, probably dodge his ult with her own ult. And yeah, that's just a dead war god, right? The thing is, like, if that guy falls behind, he is just fresh meat, right? Uh, again, no mobility and, I mean, his damage, yeah, that's his thing, but uh, that's also about it. He Regardless, let's uh, let's just see some more fighting. Massive engage there by Delight. Uh, Pace gets his ult through, but uh, yeah, that's just not enough. Jovi here. No, should also be... Uh, wait, maybe Keen turns the fight around with the massive fear. Why, 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 why? We're at 18 minutes. Has Genji already scaled up? No, we only have one item here per player. Whereas on the other side, Hunger Life has actually had two items there coming into this. Yeah, but let's see this fear, man. Insane. Pace at least... Big gets the ult through and yeah, it's just pew 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 pew. He gets him and then flashes into the squad, buying time for Chovy or rather time space. Yeah, very lovely to see, very lovely. And uh, yeah, with this now three, no, not three decks, like the three Drake stack has been denied. Engaging now onto the Ogot. Bro, that guy is made out of paper. What is his item build? That's something we need to uh, pay attention to. I saw the Black Cleaver, but. Yeah, didn't get uh, much else so far. Well, I guess versus this high damage profile team. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Flash for flash. But uh, yeah. Mm. Pace got caught lacking. I mean, bro, like recalling next to the wall or just moving five steps to the left, standing under your turret. Big difference, I guess. Still dead, right? But uh, Hangwa Life's Baron damage is not the best. Their turn here so far i mean they got one kill but yeah it's uh yeah not looking uh all too best right imagine if you'd also did engage into pace right pace still leaving the base right now this genji comp um it looks a bit wacky right but honestly like if uh, hangwa life they have to run into them like that's quite effective right oh the light well, actually that was doran never mind uh, but yeah, that was an amazing wombo combo, but in the end, like, again, it's like, if Viper is not, uh, in a position where he can deal all the damage, right, and he died, like, uh, at the very start of the fight. Wait a second, I was... 
Ah, yeah, I need to pay attention. What? I was like, blah, 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 fazzling, blah, 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 blah. It's like, oh, yeah, if Viper dies, they don't have damage. Brent, then I look to the side and everyone is dead. I, uh, okay. So somehow they still won that fight, even with their DPS source bursted down. Jovi here may be in trouble. Bosses of the old, but Delight also already dead. Peanut already dead. Okay, now exactly this is it. Right? It's like, how are you going to run at the enemy? Uh, Right? And even if you get one of the like damage dealers, right, Chovy or Pace, both of them deal insane amount of damage. If they're trading a soul point for uh, for Baron, that uh, seems pretty much all right. But hey, actually they don't have Smite, so it's just soul point and Baron for Genji here. Looks pretty promising. And actually, why aren't we unmuting the uh, the highlights? Right, it's a bit uncanny watching League of Legends without any sounds. Regardless, okay. Now. Pango Life, where's your wave clear? Oh, we have Zeri. Hmm. Zeri stepping up to these waves. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't want to see that. And on the other side, it's like, oh yeah, what is our counterplay? Hmm, yeah, we, we engage into them with Delight and Doran. Oh, but then there's Keen, Lehans and Canyon. A fucking thick, CC heavy frontline. Ah, yes. Hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think Genji. Uh, Pretty, pretty premium draft, right? Uh, the only downside to their comp is that if they fall behind, like, very early. I mean, that was pretty insane. Like, first of all, Zeri damage is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. She is 3, 2, and 12, right? I guess she's a 4 item Zeri due to the fact that, like, we we're 34 minutes into the game, but. Jeez, man, that champion is balanced. But yeah, I mean, what the fuck are they doing? Hitting the turret and letting Zeri hit them, right? Okay. Yeah, I mean... Maybe he can do something. Perfect Zonias! Doran is still chasing him up with the TP and everything. The hands buys a bit of time, but... Okay, he puts down the turret. But no, it's not enough. And Hangwa Life steal game number one, man. It's all on the uh, pace and co. I mean, Chovy wasn't there, right? It's like, I don't know what they were thinking. Just standing there, hitting the turret and just overextending so deeply for the for the support, I think it was, right? Crazy. Okay, with that Hangwa Life, they get at least one game. But uh, yeah, I mean, that draft was ridiculous, right? If they weren't trolling and didn't have Zeri, Hangwa Life had no chance. Anyway, let's take a look at uh, these champions here. Chovy picking up the uh, Aurelian Soul. Uh, if I'm correctly informed, uh, it's a champion that has grown in popularity in recent times. I don't know what Chovy was doing there, but uh, I mean, I, he, he probably knows better. Okay, good flash there by Doran, but how about uh, round number two? And yeah, keen ults, but like yeah, I mean they also got uh, got Zekas ult, so that's something. Yeah, delight is completely fine here. No. Okay, forces out the flash, right? But I mean, again, considering pace was rotating up uh, first, maybe that makes uh, made sense. I guess better safe than sorry, but I don't know. Okay, let's see, this is going to be the first bigger skirmish of the game, but we're still at 0 0 0 0 0 0 No kills, no action, I, uh, give us something to react to, right? Just now, Genji's just slowly winning, right, in CS. It's like, how is uh, Keen only one CS behind of uh, a Jace? I don't know. Viper here also, just like Pace. What are you guys doing, man? I mean, jeez, it doesn't even get punished for it. I mean, they lose so much, right? But just go five more steps. Recall under your turret. Hi, uh, why lazy, man? Stop being lazy. Okay. Becca gets chunked here a bit, but Peanut is there to defend his mid laner while we are getting an aneurysm from the yeah, map change. Uh, yeah, and again, like the Lucian Nami, you know how I how I feel about it. It's like, especially if they're 0-0 zero, zero with uh, a 10 CS lead at 15 minutes, right? You already know it's going to be dead as useless. Especially against Talia. I, uh... uh okay. Boom. Okay, nice. 
Rift Herald charge comes in. Um, don't get uh, don't get me wrong. I think uh, Hangwa Life is uh, not doing all too fine in this game either, right? Um, but uh, oh, nice ult there by Delight. Man, Delight is just ah oh, man. He was like so good on Bro back then. Then he became uh, then he went to Genji, and I think at Genji he was at times overhyped a bit, right? He was good, but. Uh, it's decently easy to shine as a support if your team is overall pretty good, um, right? Uh, and like he was mostly like a oh actually smite steal here by Canyon. Um, let's see the fight first and then talk more about the light. Okay, that's eight rocks down for the first blood for the Talia for Zeka here. In this case, more oh, double bubble. Man, what are these supports eating for breakfast? Crazy. But in the end, it doesn't uh, matter, right? Uh, Viper picks it up. But again, the light was a bit of a one-trick at times, right? Uh, what? Are Damn! And no one steps in to block anything. Okay. Crazy. But regardless, uh, now it's like not only on Rakan, but also on Lulu. On oh, I, I'm, I wish I had some good memories. But I remember on Nautilus against T1, of course, right? Obviously against the a weekend T1 and the champion was uh, in a good uh, situation, right, to succeed. Don't get me wrong, but like he still like performed heavily, right? He still made the plays. He still like punished T1 again and again. What? Bro, jeez, man, what happened there? But completely blasted. But yeah, no, I guess with uh, Viper eating good in, the, in this game, right? Uh, and I mean, again, the comp is a, is a bit iffy, but I think uh, like Hangwa Life, man, they looked quite lost in the first uh, part of this game, but so far, it's getting a bit better, right? The the issue is, uh, again, what is their, their answer to the range of Genji, right? The effective range is... Uh, it's quite a bit problematic. Oh my god, Viper flashes forward, collects the bounty, pays dead, but one for one in the AD carry department. Ah, oh, Chobi will get away, but still benefit here for, for Hangwa Life, right? That they probably can't do too much with that. But uh, let's see. Oh. Okay, not too bad, not too bad, but yeah. Oh, maybe a snipe. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> the Nami, man. She just pops like a balloon. Uh, maybe she's a puffer fish, right? Like a balloon. Well, whatever. Regardless, so uh, yeah, nice snipe there. Again, just a bit of gold, right? Doesn't matter in the in the grand scheme of the game. Uh, but two seven, right? Also for the confidence, I guess that's pretty helpful. Uh, the hands, interesting flash, right? But okay, uh, yeah, now uh, lots and lots and lots of tools used by the Gen G side, right? Whoa, okay. Ah, it's not incredible, I would not agree. But, oh, Zeka caught and immediately one-shot. Same with Viper, what was that? He, they just dash into the Aatrox, oh my god. Yeah, I mean, Aatrox only got one kill out of that, but... You're crazy, what the hell was that? Okay, yeah, I, I mean, I guess now the game is kinda, kinda fucked, right? They really needed the Baron. Baron in this game is so crazy wild. Both teams don't have a reliable way to engage, right? Obviously, Genji has a bit of a better time with that, but not much more. And then in the end, it's just range versus range uh, uh, fighting, where uh, again, I I think Genji has a bit of a better tool. But uh, regardless, maybe we can see some like outplay factor and so on. Hello, can anyone? Okay. Oh my. Let's see the Aatrox, the World Ender comes in. Oh man, just one Q chunk stacker so much. Oh my, that's the star falling peanut. They're just running at them. They're just running at them. Jeez, man, the scaling is just crazy. I mean, actually, it's not only the scaling, right? It was the start of that being chunked ETC. But regardless, that's the range that I've been talking about for a bit. Zeka here again in a bit of a precarious situation. It's going to burn down, no? Okay, he gets the heal. Ay, 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 now also the battle for soul, right? A soul that in this case, uh, it's not like the T1 soul, where we got ocean. 
But yeah, okay, now this GG, no ocean soul required. With Viper dead, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's just that. Oh my man, like, I guess, I mean, that's the thing with Zeri Illusion, right? With these champions, you need to be in close range, you need to dash in, and that's where you get clapped. And uh, yeah, Viper didn't have the, the fortune this time. And uh, yeah, with that, Genji equalizes the series. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting. Um, and yeah. I think, uh, yeah, well deserved. Um, they should be up 2 0, if we're being honest. But uh, Hunger Life is there at least, right? Making them work for it. But geez, man, the, the, the drafts by Gen G. Just, like, bangers. Um, not entirely. Again, you, you know, I just, I don't want to see Lushinami, but Rest was pretty good. Now, uh, I'm not going to take a look at this, and we're just going to. Uh, analyze the draft in the next step, but uh, so far a bit of a back and forth game. I would still say Genji is like clearly uh, the better uh, squad here, but um, and well, I've, uh, they're not looking all too lost. Uh, but maybe it's just the fact that uh, the meta has changed, and if um, if you're worse, you're not getting like blown up, dominated all too crazily. Um, Due to the fact that everyone picks scaling, and even if you're losing, it still will take 30 minutes till you're losing, right? We saw that in the in the D1 series, right? We were never in the best of positions, but the game still lasted quite a while. Here, here cute attempt by Zeka, and uh, now let's talk about the champions. Uh, Keen picking up the rumble. I mean, uh, yeah, we've seen it more in support position right now, but I mean, it still absolutely destroys uh, everyone in top lane, right? Look at this uh, this damage, right? Keen started this uh, trade with lower HP. Uh, now he will get flash knocked up. Flash for flash. And now the ignite and burn. Oh, he nearly stepped too close. Well done. Keenet will answer it here with, uh, yeah, just flash onto him and no risk, no nothing. Keenet knows, uh, yeah. Oh, Nautilus time, I guess. And uh, yeah, in the bot lane, Jinx and Tom Kench. Oh man, a Tom Kench, how lovely would that have been? Uh, versus three games of straight up Nautilus. Ah oh, man, that's just so silly that we that we weren't able to do that with uh, Carrier being one of the best Tom Kench players ever. Ah. Regardless, uh, yeah, let's see what Viper's uh, Jinx can do. Pretty interesting game here for her, honestly. <gasps> oh my God, that was crazy! No way, Peanut managed to save Doran here. Look at this, he's already dead, like Omai Wamo is like already set, but then he lives with what, 17 HP was the last thing I saw? Maybe even lower, jeez. But okay, Keen's just absolutely straight up cooking top lane. That's what we kind of expect, right? So the Rek'Sai, people have already figured out some of the answers to her, and uh, that doesn't obviously take away from uh, her usefulness, but uh, yeah, priority uh, might... Uh, like shift down and draft, okay. Canyon again with a dragon steel, man. The second one so far. Pace gets charmed and chunked. And yeah, that will be. Uh, oh, they get find more. And yeah, charm lands. Viper picks up another one. 5 1 for Hungwa Life here, man. Peanut and Co. are just absolutely destroying stuff. Don't, don't look at top lane. Ignore, ignore that turret. Look, they're also taking care of a turret. Peanut goes in, man, that's all the gold, but he gets devoured by Delight, but can he be saved? Oh, what looks so rough, though. I, uh, okay, so uh, what was that, a 1 for 1? Looked like a 1 for 1, right? It was 5 for 1 before, right? Okay, now let's see Chobi, boah, the flash interruption, but... Zeka sadly doesn't get the, uh, yeah. Is it going to be enough? Yeah. It's still going to be enough, man. Azir with all and his E and everything. It's just not enough versus Ari and the Rek'Sai. Man, that's just wild. Jeez, man, this rumble is... He's literally the sun. He's like burning them completely to shreds. Chovy finds the insect onto Viper. Crazy, man. But I mean, like obviously he did the flashy play, but like in the end, let's be honest, man. That was all Keen. Keen, that 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 guy does crazy damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. 
Oh, God, look, look, he gets the, he gets the shuffle. Yeah, sure, he gets the shuffle. Yeah, not bad. Great. That's obviously the, the game-winning moment. Uh, yeah, maybe. Even. But uh, hey, okay, he goes in. Massive wombo combo. Oh my God! Bot lane already obliterated Chovy here. Probably next on the chopping block. Yes, dies any second now. Keen also can stand to Viper's damage. And damn! Never mind, we have a game again onto our hands. Hunger Life 3k lead. Now blasting another turret. Didn't use the time to get to Baron, but maybe, I mean, 25 minutes now. So probably uh, pretty. Well, regardless. Now, Baron, half HP. Obviously, like the Gen G man, they're doing so much Baron damage. It's crazy. But Peanut, can he get revenge for all the Smite steals? No, he cannot. Doran already dead, Peanut also dead, Chovy will likely be the sacrifice, not only him but also, okay, yeah, okay. So what is that, uh, two for three, but Genji also gets the Baron, that's crazy, look at this. Uh, I was wanting to look more at the statistics, but uh, anyway. Oh my crazy delight, saves Viper for a second, but the team, look at them, like Peanut is now here, Ari is now here, but... It's like, where were these guys, man? Your mid lane turret gets destroyed, your bot lane gets dove. Where were you at? That's a huge play. They got so many summoners there. Okay, now 3 to 2 in dragons. Man, the dragon game has been very contested uh, and competitive uh, throughout these uh, three games so far. Very interesting, right? Other teams. Have been uh, paying less and less attention. Oh, Chovy stops into the chompers, but maybe that's just bait. It's just bait. Oh my god, Doran goes in, but he melts completely. Zeka was not ready to put some pressure down. Oh my god, the coordination was uh, just horrible. And here, will we get something crazy? Chovy. I mean, there was a chance, like, if Viper gets the reset there, maybe, maybe, right? But uh, with that being the case, no. They just get uh, shit stomped, and in the end, like the teamwork of Genji, which like arguably always is there. Like, oh, look at this, and we will prolong the game, right? Oh my god, maybe they, maybe they can like rush it now. Maybe they can run through, no? Okay, okay, they weren't able to uh, do something. Doran going in onto Lahens. I mean, he does some damage, but. Like, you're just in the thick of things and nothing is happening. Chovy doesn't even need to use the old. The light just devours prematurely, I guess. Oh, man. Like, if I forgot something to do here and if Doran didn't just rush in blindly, uh, man, maybe there would have been a chance. But, uh, yeah, 35 minutes. Zeka is holding the waves. And, uh, yeah, there's no there's no way Genji can finish with this. But, uh Ah, uh, like the first step is like Genji with their let's call it macro game, right? Um, that uh, that nets them uh, great benefits, and then oh, goes in charm onto the hands, gets the flash out, but yeah. and then in these late game team fights, right? That's where where Genji uh, then also can like uh, shine really well, right? Especially now with all the upgrades to their to their lineup in this year. It's uh, it's uh, it's pretty wild, right? Pace being a bit more of a conservative uh, AD carry, I'd say, right? It's not uh, one that is like uh, addicted to plays or addicted to stuff like that, right? He's just being chilling. He's like fine with. There's no, 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 no. There's no way they can like force a finish or something like that here. That's not possible. They are not careful. They might get engaged upon. Right, with the hands being there. Now the front line is gone. Hello, hello. Doran, you can't just leave your team. Oh my god. Oh, this is going to be crazy. Yeah, Doran is just going to be sacrificed, no? Oh, Chovy flashes forward. Doesn't get much or anything at all. Peanut doesn't get over the wall, but does it even matter? But still, Doran, man, in these skate game fights, man. He's not as tanky as he wants to be. And the other thing, oh my god, three man flash! Yeah, that's GG. That's an ace. Oh man, that's just crazy canyon. Ah, right. That's the crazy part about this uh, Genji roster upgrade, right? 
Not saying like Dora and Peanut, the light. Not saying they were bad, right? It's like they were crazy good. Were and are. But like having like Keen just straight up upgrade to Doran, right? Maybe not with the consistency, at least that's what we saw last year, but it's like if he has like such good teammates, then he can shine. Canyon, I mean he's probably one of the best, if not the best jungle player, at least in the modern modern League of Legends game. It's crazy. And I mean, yeah, winning formula works for Gen.G once more. Now I want to win this uh, playoff game here. And uh, yeah, again, the trend continues that Hangwa Life, they look good at times, but then like when the fights get a bit a uh, bit more wild, the coordination drops and uh, yeah, Gen.G is decisive, right? They just deal with targets one at a time. Everyone knows how to put the greatest uh, pressure down towards their opponents. And uh, yeah, now in this, uh, is it the last game? I think Genji is going to bring it home. But let's take a look at the draft for that. Uh, Angwa Life, okay. Interesting decision making, just a bit of everything that you want. Looks like a bit more of a comfort and uh, let's be aggressive comp. Uh, now Doran, yeah, where are you? Actually, that guy has a ward, but it just doesn't matter. He still will die to the gank. And uh, yeah, Canyon getting ahead after the, the end of the last game, maybe not the start that you are looking for. Zeka also, okay, this is going to be a very quick one. Okay, I see. Uh, yeah, because Gen G, I mean, they also have a pretty aggressive early game comp. So yeah, uh, both teams obviously do scale, right? But yeah, they obviously have uh, interest in being aggressive early. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure why we're watching a decent replay here. Um, but okay, yeah, well well done Kenyon, I guess, right, uh, uh, it's going to be interesting, right, uh, Kenyon being ahead is like maybe not the best, hello, what were you expecting, man, trading, regardless, uh, right, so I don't think Zeka gets to do, uh, like the same thing in terms of Talia value than he did versus us, but, uh, still, yeah, okay, at least, one nice little gank comes in from Peanut, and uh, yeah, Viper will get onto the board. Viper here will have to do uh, the heavy lifting, right? Uh, Doran, I mean, it's, it's going to be tough, right? There's a big front line in, in your face. Okay, let's see. They're going for the dive, but there are four people here. Actually, Talia is coming over with the ult as well. It's still a dive, and we're still at six minutes. Uh, Genji. Have they overcooked? But so far it's a one for one. Zeka no mana and Peanut no HP. Clear the minion wave and everyone backs away. A one for one and a turret dive. Oh no, no, that does not look all too good for Hunger Life here. Uh, uh, I mean, honestly, maybe we should hope for Genji to win, even as a T1 fan, right? Uh, because <laughs> I think Hunger Life. Uh, it's uh, maybe a bit more manageable, right? And uh, while the goal and the peanut will just uh, not get a smite uh, this game. Well, the goal is obviously winning the split. And for that metric, it doesn't matter who comes. We're going to have to beat uh, like whoever wins here, um, which like that's not a problem. The baseline interest right now should be uh, getting to MSI. And uh, yeah, for that, uh, hello, hello. What? Double flash, ult invested even under tower. Kisante, how can he be so strong? He doesn't even have any items yet. Chovi is ulting ghosts, man. It's, uh, it's just wild. And Zeri gets some kills, okay. Hang well life. Maybe, they're, they, maybe they want to bring us to silver scrapes, right? Um, maybe maybe that's uh, maybe that's the way, right? Other, other regions. Uh, I have had to... Uh, Good amount of game five so far. I mean, just at this point, like Peanut doesn't have his might uh, key enabled, right? Like, what the fuck is that? Regardless, the team fight also looks decently rough, but Zeri might get her Zeri moment. But I mean, there's still a Cassante, yeah? Cassante versus Zeri. In the end, it's a one v one versus the most broken champions in the game, and Zeri wins. I mean, no shocker. 6-0, like Hangwa Life, like, I mean, you need to disband as a team if you are not winning this, right? Nah, man, it's like, there's no way you're losing this game. 
I mean, okay, if they flip, Zeri gets shut down, then maybe like the game can get decently uh, bad again. Peanut already low, but still they get the support. Chobi also under tower, chunked. I mean, the ult is decent, but he loses everything. Can Hangwa Life not just turn onto the Baron again? No, they decide to back off. Okay. Hmm. That's a bit weird, right? You get these cooldowns, you're not doing anything with it. Okay, hook onto Viper! Oh no! Do I say oh no? Well, whatever. We'll just see explosions. Hangwa Life. So far, so good, but that's a big scoop! That's Zeri in the dirt! Ay, ay, ay. So low are the HP bars. Can Zekar be the one man army? He gets one, but that's about it. Nearly a clean ace out of nowhere. Look at the Zeri, man. Just obliterated, right? He again plays the tankier Azir build, right? With uh, with Grasp and then after... Um, well, what is it? Uh, uh, whatever. You see the items yourself, man. My memory. Ah, yeah, man. I can't remember names and I can't remember item names, it seems like. Okay. The light just gets eviscerated and Genji is beginning to... Take control of this game, right? 12 to 14 now. Uh, gold lead also acquired. I mean, we're in the 31, uh, 31st minute now, so that's uh, that's quite something. But the la oh, oh, Viper, watch out, man. You're still strong, no? You're still strong. We haven't seen the items uh, for a while, so maybe uh, things have changed. I also want to see, like, Pace's build, right? Okay. So, yes, use. But again, a big scoop. Doran just completely out of the game and I mean that's the front line pace where goes in by his attention Viper just all too low it's going to fall to Nautilus of all places no actually yeah I mean it's crazy 2000 kills for Chovy uh yeah fitting I mean he put this game onto his back I mean he's six now in the total rankings but uh yeah crazy um I mean, yeah, I have to agree. Chovy and uh, Kenyon uh, were just 1v9, this, uh, or 2v8 this uh, series. I mean, yeah, crazy games so far, right? Pretty uh, neck on neck, if we're being honest. It went down uh, to just basic execution. And it's crazy to think that a super team like Hangwa Life is not able to clutch it out with a 6 0 Zeri. Maybe that's why Pace is higher in the uh, POG standings. Uh, yeah, regardless, that's it for this, uh, yeah, lit off, uh, off theme reaction, right? Not the T1 game. What am I doing here? Uh, but yeah, great to see Genji with that qualifies for MSI and it's Genji. So we need to be a bit shaky, but it's still, I mean, this roster is cracked, right? If, uh, if they can't do it versus the LPL, then I mean, what do we, what do we want now? Still, let's hope for T1 versus DK next and, uh, yeah. Not sure in which order the videos are going to be released, but I hope you enjoy and take care. We we'll see each other hopefully soon. Bye bye.